Hey men, my name is Jimbo Head, and I, along with four other volunteer men, are going to be your hosts each week for the next eight weeks as we bring to you your program entitled The True Measure of a Man. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a few minutes, but let me address an issue that has been on our hearts, and I know yours as well, and that's this pandemic that we're living in right now. Uh, we don't like it. Uh, we've been very anxious uh, as volunteers because we don't get to experience the regular weekly interaction with you guys that we normally do. And of course, you guys are experiencing the same thing on your end with the fact that uh, we are not able to come in and you're not able to interact with us and uh, really develop a relationship with each other. And uh, so I want to tell you that we love you. We miss you. Uh, we hope to be back in there in person uh, just as soon as we can. And the uh, state of Alabama will allow us to be back in there. Now, I want to explain a couple of things real quickly. Uh, you will have a facilitator for this program. You guys will meet uh, once a week for eight weeks uh, in your respective conference room uh, there. And the discussion, all of the discussion, all of the assignments, the reading, et cetera, et cetera, is going to be facilitated by your uh, one to two facilitator men. Uh, these men know our program, they've been through our program, uh, and they have demonstrated the ability to lead others effectively through this program. So I'm not going to steal any of their time. They can explain to you exactly what we're going to be doing and, and when and how, and that includes this very first day. So uh, each one of you are going to be receiving a copy of this book, if you don't already have it, along with some complimentary resources in a uh, study guide that has questions that you'll respond to as well as a fill-in-the-blank reading guide. Your facilitator will explain all of that to you, how it works each week and what you'll be asked to do uh, in this class. We, we call this an interactive approach, meaning we, we want your participation. Now, starting out, that's going to come harder for some of you than it is for uh, others of you. We understand that. Uh, you, you don't have any reason in, in week one to uh, trust us because you don't know us. You don't know who we are, what we've got, and uh, what we're all about. So just be patient. We're confident that the material that you're going to be exposed to, as well as the facilitators and their ability to create discussion and lead through this program is going to be effective. Now, I want to start with a question that has become a universal struggle for all men, for all of us. And the question is this. I wonder today what young men think about when they hear these words, be a man, be a man, or man up, as we so often hear those words. I wonder what's going through their minds. What, what are they thinking about as they hear those words? Are they thinking about um, things like, being a man, does it mean to never cry, never show emotion, to always be tough, always be up, always be strong? Well, the reality is I'm not sure what's going through their minds, and this uncertainty creates an experience where most of these young men, including myself growing up, will experience a sense of shame 
in their life. In other words, the fact that someone would make that comment to me growing up as a young boy plants a seed in my mind that I must be lacking. I must be lacking in what it really is or what it looks like to be a man and to become a man. The problem that I had was not hearing those words, but the fact that it was never defined for me. Becoming a man or being a man was never defined for me. Now, I'm not going to spoil the material because that's what uh, you're going to be learning about. But I do want to say this, that um, at the Center for Executive Leadership, where I work, we are a faith-based men's ministry resource center. We work exclusively with men in the development and growth in their faith and their spiritual development. And we work with men of all types. We work with CEOs. We work with high school dropouts. We work with athletes on the college level, high school level, professional level. We work with coaches on the same levels. We work with prisoners. We work with cowboys. And we work with those who have a variety of things that they're trying to do in life. And at the very core issue, men, we're all the same. We're all the same. See, here's what we hear from men all the time. They struggle with loneliness, insecurities. In other words, not feeling like maybe they're measuring up or they're, they're questioning their sense of worth and value. Inadequacy. In other words, they, they don't necessarily believe that they have what it takes to be, and you just fill in the blank, whether it's be a good father, be a good husband, be a good son, be a good leader, what have you. And then they also struggle with isolation, that because they're trying to figure out these things on their own, they tend to isolate themselves and become all alone. And that just leads to a world of problems and difficulties and challenges that they're not able to handle on their own. So basically, it's, it's heartbreaking to see how most men spend the majority of their lives trying to convince other people that there's something they're not. And you're looking at a man who did that himself for 50 years. Despite being educated, my entire life, when I re-examined it, was all about performance, what I did and how well I did at what I did. These, this is what I had my identity and sense of worth wrapped up in. Let me ask you a question. I want you to think about this. Are you allowing the circumstances of your situation right now, including this pandemic, along with your performance or lack of, coupled with the approval of others, seeking the approval of others, are you allowing these things to determine your worth and value as a man? Are you? It's a great question. Well, if you are, you're not alone. You see, today, men are confused and they don't know who they are. And they're turning to all sorts of things within the culture 
to answer that question because it's a great question that we need to have an answer to and there is a truthful answer. Now, the material in this book, The True Measure of a Man, was life-changing for me and I believe it can do the same for you as it did for me. So, what I want you to do is just For the next eight weeks, I want you to open up your heart and open up your mind to the truth that's contained in this message. Engage yourself and participate in the discussions in this class. Ask the questions. And I'll guarantee you, at the end of eight weeks, you won't question yourself as a man anymore. You won't be confused. Now, let me explain how we are going to interact with you in this process. Your facilitator is going to lead the discussion with your material in class during the first part of the class. And then he's going to cut in with a pre-recorded message that we're pre-recording just like right now. And it's going to involve two of us as volunteers on this screen that you can see and we're going to be having an interactive discussion and we are going to be discussing our responses to the same questions that you're going to be asked to respond to each week. I think you're going to enjoy it. I think you'll get a lot out of it. Unfortunately, as I said, this is the only way that we have available to us to be able to interact with you at this time because we're unable to be there. So I hope you will tune in. I hope you will once again take care of your reading assignments and and be active in your participation and I promise you it'll be one of the most meaningful programs that you ever went through. Hey listen guys, we love you. We look forward to engaging with you each week. Thank you so much and stand by.